Hey there, and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you guys how to turn a 2D sketch into a 3D render. So in order to turn a 2D sketch into a 3D render, we can use this amazing Dopi tool. It is a great tool to help with beginners in architecture and in other creative field. So let's take a closer dive and look into it. So the link for the site we're using will be down in the description. And once you're there, you'll be seeing this interface. So just go ahead and explore it, and you can see what this tool will be made for. By using reference materials and specific keywords, you can generate your imaginary renders in a matter of seconds. So how can we use this tool? Well, firstly, you're going to need to sign up on the site. It's a normal process with nothing new. You can use your Google account directly without filling anything up. And then you'll end up on this page called the Creation Plaza. At the top, there are a couple of categories that you can go through. And below is where people share their work. However, we can learn by choosing any of those images, open it, and see what reference images used in making it along with the keyword and other information that we might need to mimic some work later. So for example, in this one, we can see all the information around it, and it seems like they used a 3D basic model to generate the render with a specific keyword. So we can take a general idea of how this works. This interior scene is also made in the same way, and the process is quite similar. So to start, just go to the creating process section on the left-hand side. Up on the top right is your social credits, and remember, you get 100 for free, so it's basically 100 shots of using this program. So let's focus back on the left-hand side, and let's start with an exterior scene, and for the design field, let's just go with architecture. The input image type can be a sketch or blocks of any of those types available. For this video, I'll go with conceptual, since we'll just be using a very simple model. Don't forget to keep the render type on precise, and make the output effect on the rendering style. As you can see, the prompts are filled by default, but you can of course delete or edit them from the label section. So take your time and choose what you have in mind to complete your extraordinary vision. Now once you're done choosing your input words, there are two important fields to fill in. One is the base image. In this one, we can use a sketch or simple lines that we made. So for me, I'll be using one of my older, if not my first render, done way back. And let's see what result I can get with this tool. Now the second field is for the style reference image. This will identify the style in the newly generated image. So just choose anything you see fit. I did this one online, but go ahead and choose whatever style you wish. And then once you're done with all of that, just hit the Start Creating button. Remember, this will take up to a minute to finish, depending on the servers and your connection. Now, this is what I got in the end. It's pretty cool. The thing I like most about it is that it's keeping the main lines in place, and that's a really important feature to have. However, let's try and change up the keywords a little bit. So, let's take a step back and change those words. Let's add a bit of this and a flavor of that, and let's try regenerating it with these new prompts. Now it's a bit more realistic now, isn't it? So for any student who wants to know if their concept idea will result in something pretty cool, this is an amazing tool to help in that field. And that's really all there is to using this amazing AI-assisted tool. If you learned something new with this video, don't forget to leave a like. And as always, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. Thank you so much again for watching, and we'll definitely see you guys in the next one.